there. Today I just wanted to share this really adorable template with you that I'm working on a project with. And um, the template I actually found on Etsy. And it is from my friend Becca, who um, is Little Polka Dot. That's, um, I'll have her information up um, so that you can go to her website or her store there at Etsy and you can actually purchase this template um, to do this project. Okay, so if you decide you're going to do this project, um, if you go to Becca's store, um, she will send you, um, and I think it was $3, I think that the template was, which to me it was well worth it. And all the, um, the sizes of the templates are here. So you can actually copy this once you download it. It's a PDF file. You just print it out on your computer. And um, what I ended up doing then was just cutting out the different pieces that I'd be using. Um, and this is great because you can even take the original, if you keep the original that you print, you could use this and you can downsize it, increase the size. So depending upon the project that you're making, um, this is a really wonderful template to have and well worth the money, I think. So thank you, Becca. Okay, so what I did was I cut out the pieces that I needed and then I actually took some um, chipboard or some... Um, yeah, some chipboard, and I, what I did was I laid down the pieces, and I traced them onto the board, and then I ended up cutting them out. So, like, here's my owl, and I laid him down. I traced him, and then I cut him out. So, you could either use this as your template in the future if you didn't want to do chipboard for your project, and you just wanted to do it in designer series paper um, so that you'll have it in the future. Um, either way, or you'll still have this for your template. So once my, um, my chipboard was cut out and I cut out my image, um, then I just kind of basically started assembling the pieces. And for these, I actually did not use Becca's. I mean, she's got some really cute ones, but I just used my punches from Stampin' Up! for the eyes. And I also had just punched out some ovals um, to put underneath for my feet. And I'm still kind of working with that, um, and I'm kind of seeing how that goes. Now, my original idea, um, and I told Becca I was so excited I couldn't wait to try and do something with this pattern, was um, I am trying, and I'm going to make this a notebook. My daughter would like a notebook out of this. So I did, for all of us Zutter people, I did try and run it through my Zutter, and unfortunately, because of the way the top of it is, it cut it off. So I'm currently working and trying to figure out a way that I can um, somehow get the rings up top and I may have to go through and actually hand punch and mark off all of my areas and I will come up with something and when I have that I'm going to share it with you so anyone else who who may be interested in, in doing this project um, I will have you all the information for you. So um, I hope that you'll check out Becca's site and um, give it a try and there's more pieces I just haven't put everything together yet I'm still working on how I want to do it and um, but it's a really cute pattern again um, the paper that I used um, for this owl right here um, is from the new designer series paper sweet pea um, that came out um, that's in the new uh, mini catalog and it's gorgeous there's so many different patterns um, and colors that would be just perfect for the owl and for springtime. And um, so I hope you'll check that out too. And I'll have um, the information on the paper and so forth on my blog. Thanks for joining me. Bye bye.